So for this Dingri earthquake, uh, my team and our laboratory, we predicted possible landslides within 200 kilometers from the epicenter. And the results in our conclusion show a very low chance of large scale landslides in the region. I think Stephen uh, just mentioned the area actually on the plateau. So it's quite not really rugged terrain, like in the other parts of the uh, China, like in the margins of the Tibetan plateau. So this is part of the reason why there are so, not so many large scale landslides. Uh, and the other reason is the relatively high uh, risk areas in the remote mountainous regions, which are actually for, far from the residential area. So the chance of direct damage to the uh, people are quite low. And we also checked the latest satellite imagery after the earthquake and found no evidence of large landslides, which actually align very well with the, our model prediction results. However, there are basically there are no direct uh, like landslide uh, damage, uh, but there are dozens of small glacier lakes in the earthquake affected area. Uh, so while well, there is no sign of uh, immediately damage to these lakes, but rising temperature and snow melting may rise in the risk in the future. So my suggestion is uh, we need to uh, pay attention, especially lo local authority need to pay attention uh, to such kind of secondary geological hazards.